That'll wake up central morning original. These are stories you won't see anywhere else. Now this morning we are taking you along for the ride in the state's only high flying classroom. Only one four year school in the entire natural state offers the chance to learn at 3000 feet. It's a quiet morning over the skies of Arkadelphia, but that is about to change. Soon these planes will be off the ground and into the air. However, the pilots in the cockpit aren't really pilots just yet. They're students. Yeah, that's a little nerve wracking. Richard Weinman is the director of aviation at Henderson State University, the only four year aviation program in the state. The program's been around since the early 70s. Uh, there were a few people in it. I think there was one person in it at first and then two people in it the next year. Now, most folks wouldn't get in the passenger seat of a car with a teenager, much less a plane. The Weinman says it's a necessity. According to an analysis issued in August by Oliver Weinman, a New York based management consulting firm, the commercial airline industry in North America was short 8,000 pilots in 2022. That gap is estimated to grow more than 29,000 by the end of the decade. All the more reason to train these young pilots. You start when you're young, that's the good, best time to start flying. There are currently 81 students in the flight program at Henderson State. Did you already finish up the slip, uh, Finian? Seth Baldwin is in his fourth year and says he hopes to become a commercial pilot. Flying has always been a passion of mine. I remember going on the planes as a little kid and honestly just loving it, being able to go up to the cockpit and check it out and you know, always being welcomed by the pilots. Seth and his classmates must go through a thorough pre-flight check before ever getting in the air. These six are your basic flight instruments. Uh, you have an airspeed indicator and you just make sure all these things are functioning before you take off. Once the pre-flight is complete, it's time for takeoff. It's peaceful, honestly. It just helps kind of relax you um, as long as it's what you love. So, you know, say they say you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Most of these graduates will go straight to a regional airline and work their way up to a major commercial carrier. Some will remain here as instructors and a few others will use their degree to serve our country. So I'm in the military, so I want to fly like helicopters in the military and then do that like part time because I'm like in the National Guard and then try to go to the airlines, do a double doozy. Madeline Garrett is a sophomore from Louisiana. I was in middle school and I would get like bored very easily. So I was like, I bet flying won't, you know, I won't get bored that much. So something different every day. Now that doesn't mean there hasn't been some bumps along the way. Sometimes I cried in the car because I couldn't land the plane. <laughs> Despite that, Madeline and her fellow women classmates are proving the skies aren't just a boys club. Flying in general, like as a female, like you know, they're looking at for those, so. Yeah, I take pride in it. As the need for pilots grows across the U.S., Director Wyman hopes Henderson State will continue to attract future aviators to Arkadelphia. As far as I can see, it's just going to continue to, to progress. And that's the way we like it. Now, if you are an aspiring young pilot and interested in applying to Henderson State and their aviation program, we're going to provide a link on our website at thp11.com. See, Scott, you can become a I was going to ask, do I have to be young? You can't, well, you know, I don't know if they'll take Arkansas Tech guys. Oh, well, but, oh, uh, well that's uh, tough. Yeah, that's <laughs> tough. That's yeah. tough to hear. I love that there is a nationwide, probably worldwide pilot shortage yeah. in yes. Henderson State, right here in Arkansas, being part of the solution. Yes. Where else could you go to do that uh, in the Mid-South? Probably not many places. No. It's incredible stuff what they're doing.